Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today we will discuss about primary constructor in C sharp. Before that, if you are new to my channel, please do not forget to subscribe. Let's get started. So, C sharp introduced a new feature called primary constructor in version 12. This feature aims to simplify the initialization of properties in classes. It is specially designed for classes with many properties. In C sharp, a constructor is a special method called when a class object is created. Constructor are used to initialize an object state, which is typically involved setting the value of the class properties. Before going to the primary constructor, let's look how the constructor work with C sharp. Let's create a typical class with a constructor in C sharp. So I'll declare here a class called public class. Let's say I'll create a class name called a product. I'll specify some of the properties here. First will be, let's say product ID. Next, I'll create another property called as product name. The third property will be product price. It will be of type decimal. Next, we'll create a constructor with three parameters that is product id product name and product price i will create a constructor here i will pass three parameter first one will be int product id then product name third one will be product price of type decimal then product id product id here is a type form so i will just make the correction here then product name equals to product name then Product price plus two product price. Just it will be a this is our normal class with a parameterized constructor. Now what is primary constructor? Primary constructor is a new feature in C sub 12 that allow you to define and initialize property directly within the constructor parameter list. This feature eliminates the need of repetitive code and makes your code more readable. So let's see how we can define a product class using primary constructor. So what I'll do here, get rid of all these codes, then here is my class and here directly I can pass the parameter, for example, in product ID, product name, then product price. And then I'll create the properties and directly assign the value to the properties within the class so what i'll do here is that we'll create product id property id property and here we'll assign the value of product ID. next assign the product name then third one product price or i'll assign product price so in this example we have defined a product class with three properties that is product id product name and product price and we initialize them directly within primary constructor parameter i will make this property as read only so what i'll do here is that i'll use in all three properties in this example we have defined a product class with three properties that is product id product name and product price we have also used the init keyword to make the properties read only and initialize them directly within the primary constructor parameter lists. Next, we'll see how we can create the object of product class using primary constructor. I'll go to the program class and directly here, I'll create the object of product equals to product, then I'll pass the parameters. For example, id is one, product name is, for example, product one, and price is, for example, 10. Next, I'll print the product data in console. What I'll do here is console dot write line product ID. Next, we'll run the program and see the output. Here, you can see the output product ID is one, is product one, and price is ten. Here, product object is created with product ID, product name, and product price, which are used to initialize the corresponding properties. The product class does not have a 
constructor method, which is parameterless constructor. So you will get a compiler error if you try to create an object using default constructor. Primary constructor make your code more readable and reduce the risk of error caused by missing or incorrectly order of initializing statement or initialization statements. This is how we can create primary constructor using Python version 12. I hope you like my video. Stay tuned for my upcoming video and please do not forget to subscribe. Thank you.